So this is an over overview of the shoot site. You'll notice we have it blocked off with red tape here just so that we know it crosses that line. And I don't know if you can see it, but we have stakes in the ground. There's five across, three rows back. You can kind of see them over there working on one. Now each stake represents a position. And then the entire show was choreographed in finale. So each firework has a little label on it that tells us what stake or what position it goes at. So over here they're working on, on the front effects, which would be like the mines, comets, etc. Then over here he's separating out the cakes based on the back position. We're gonna walk closer and we're gonna show you guys exactly what we're doing. Okay, so you can kind of see the stakes. We got one here, here, standing on one. And then you'll notice just two more. And then we're kind of separating out the fireworks based on where they're located. And I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So you'll notice right here there's this little label. And you'll see main one left. And what that means is the, that stake over there, that's main one left, that's main two, this is main three center, main four, and main five right. So all of them are labeled to where we want them, where they were choreographed in finale. And this number is the module number, 19, and this one is the Q number, 17. See, 19 and 6. Most of them are labeled on the top or on the side. Module 20, Q11. So right now, we're just unloading the truck, and he's just separating them out, and then we'll carry them to the spot. So let's take a peek in the truck. Uh-oh, Viking Rooster, that's a nice one. That's main three. And then over here, he's working on the big racks. He's got four inch and five inch racks down here. So let's go check it out. So what are you working on? Putting the racks together. Setting them at the right angles for the angle shots and then straight up for the centers. And then of course we got the five inch back here. And you're gonna stake it down and everything of course, right? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So here's all the five inch racks. One by three on the sides to nail them together, double headed nails. So is this all gonna be part of the finale or how is it gonna be broken up? Or do you know? They have it staggered throughout the show. Okay. Probably accenting different parts of the songs. Awesome. And then we got a steel mortar. That is our starter saloon. Mm -hmm. This thing is pretty massive. Yeah, no, you're gonna bury it. Or... <laughs> It'll be awesome. All right, sweet. Let me know if you need help. So what exactly you guys working on? Just organize them to whatever position they're at? Yes, they're uh, they're all in a big pile right now, so we're just kind of sorting them out. They, they have uh, firing sequences that they'll go off with. So we're just putting them in, uh, in numerical order of what our, uh, basically our stage will be. Awesome. Sweet deal. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this, man. Exactly. Sorry. Cool. So you want to explain what you guys are doing? Yeah, we're hooking up mean one left. One left. So we've got a bunch of cakes. I'm just checking this out. This is really nice because I mean everything is just module number, the Q number, what it is, how many of those, even the size of the. <laughs> so these are in series. These are the following leaves, and what color? You know what number these are? 
six. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Six it is. This is sixteen. Do you want these taped together? Uh, yeah. So there's 33 modules all together, correct? Yep. And an audio box. An audio box. <laughs> Pretty excited to see the golden yeah, waterfalls go. Nice. It looked awesome in the simulation, so. Forty-nine shot, colorful salute. <laughs> There's four of those. There's one here, one up here at position two, one at position four, and one at position five. And these are going to be close to the end. They're literally four seconds, and that's approximately hang time. So it's just going to be a volley of salutes, approximately two hundred of them going off in a matter of seconds. So it's going to be a pretty sweet show. Um, this is not gonna, necessarily going to stay like this because, you know, the fan cake is not going to stay in the middle of these other cakes. We just set it out here to divide out what product goes where. Notice they got the mines, comments, and the gerbs kind of spread out already. I'm just going to take a look at a couple. I also got some flame pots and stuff up here. So, yeah, all these are mines and comments. A pretty sweet strobe comet. You can see this article of pyrotechnic. Technically 1.4, but technically it's kind of that gray area where it's not it's not uh, technically a consumer product, but it's not technically professional. Golden rain comet with purple mine. There's got a ton and ton of mines. So this is going to be a majority of the work, is just getting all the mines and the comments all figured out. So, and then if we go up to the front position, this is all gerbs and, I think, strobe pots. So, I'll take a look here. Yeah. And they're going to be spread out over five positions. You can kind of see another stake right over here. Um, take a look at them. Another article of Pyrotechnic, silver gerb. These are all, f okay, flames. We've had these before in the video before, but uh, red flame, 15 seconds. We got multiple people. They've got a nice crew working, getting stuff done. You'll notice got people in every spot. Let's go take a look over here. Basically, this is five, which will match one, which is what they're working on that we just came from. And then um, three here, I'm sorry, four here will match two, which we were kind of taking a look at also. So it's going to be pretty coordinated. Of course, with consumer product, it's going to be hard to get it perfect. But um, yeah, so you notice there's that 49 shot salute cake that we were looking at there and the the uh, rain, or, um, waterfall cake, golden waterfall. Yeah, look what he's doing over here with the mortars. Let's go take a look. He's built a frame to hold the Cobra systems and he's got attached to the four inch mortars. And this will basically boost signal strength. We're gonna be or the audience is going to be up here on the hill um, by the house up there. And then notice the main body of the show is over here and we're even downhill more. So we got the four inch mortars, five inch mortars. It's going to be, um, I can't wait to see some of these five inch shells go off. And then the opening shell and the steel mortar is going to be awesome. But um, yeah, so he's not done. He's still going to stake these down. He's just taking a break. So I figured I'd come check out his progress. But um, you kind of see what he's doing here. I'm not sure if we're going to use these racks too or not, but if we don't, hey, we'd rather have more than less. So yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. I'll come back when he's dropping the shells. Wow. This is a color time five titanium report with heavy fifth. That means a heavy fifth drop shot. Um, so you're talking uh, four three inch salutes followed by a really nice uh, four inch. <laughs> that's the opener. Holy crap, man. That's freaking... I to pick good stuff every year. Yeah. And, uh, tell me if you ever get something that you think sucked. No, I haven't seen anything that sucked. Because but I, 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 I... My wife was a little bothered this year with Scott because he didn't get any fountains. Oh, no. I didn't buy any fountains this year. She loves the fountains. Yeah, my mother-in-law the same way. There was one uh, uh, fan, uh, fantasy waterfall or yep. waterfall fantasy. Yeah. 
And, so and that was, was like, just, oh. she was loving it. I had some uh, nice one three waterfall, like Scott's got that 120 shot. I had 130 shot. I had it for my daughters. Two of them for my daughters. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here is I'm just hooking everything up to the Cobra. And once again, I'm just looking at this little label right here, module three, Q10. So this is module three. And then I just hook it up to Q10 and then going down the line. Um, module three, Q6. Module 3Q5, and then we also have some strobes coming that are going to go up here. You'll notice they're all doing the same thing on the um, gerbs, I'm sorry, the fountains and the comets. He's helping me out on the gerbs and the flames. We still have two guys over the hill that are still working on the uh, shells. So it's coming together quite nicely. I think it's about 12 o'clock, so we got plenty of time still to set up. So those two are going to get plastic because we just started getting some sprinkles. I don't know if you can really see it if you look out, but uh, we're in a big mess here. Ain't that right, Ryan? Yep. <laughs> Hopefully this is just is all we get, this little drizzle, and then move on. We're just setting all the modules to the yeah, correct channels. Yeah, sinking this. Oh yeah, and sinking them all up. And then are you checking continuity or are you just going to yeah. wait till? No, I'm checking. I'm just cross-checking the script, making sure that matches up. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually early. It's only 2.30. Yeah, there's a lot of food up there, too. Yeah, I'm going to go grab it in a second here. Basically, we're going to turn this on. We're going to check the battery to make sure we have 70% battery in a... up. in the first queue. Yeah, right. 1.39, uh, 2.39. Good to go. Good. So then you're slapping antennas on all of them too? Yep, and we're gonna antenna them up. Just make sure it's on there nice and tight and we'll just okay. hit the next position. Simple. Are you gonna key them up right before the show? Like turn them all or on? Actually, did you... Or do you want to just leave keys in there as you go? No, we're turning them off for now. Okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna get all these done and then we're gonna turn them all on. We're gonna do some signal tests to make sure that everything is gonna fire and then we'll turn them, we'll arm them again probably like half an hour before the show. Cool. cool. But realistically, if they're showing uh, power seven on the operations, you could turn them on now and they'd be fine. Well, yeah, because they would just go in sleep mode. Yeah, right. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go see up, uh, what the audio box is all about. There you go. <laughs> Meet up with you guys later. All right. So then, this will be plugged into the remote. Signal booster runs up the pole here to a antenna on the top. So hopefully that's gonna boost the signal and then we're gonna go install the audio box. Haven't really played around with that too much, so we'll see what it does. So this is sub one and two. This is the main mix. Yeah, this is the main. This. Yep, yeah, we had. Too loud, does it? No, we had. Hold on. It still feels like we could. It's gonna need to be really loud though. Of course they are facing that way and we're kind of That's true. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I can't kick up the canes a little bit. Does it sound right though? So Sync, what is that to your remote? That's this is just an audio test. So this no, is no. allowing oh that's sync. yeah, correct. That's it. Okay. Sync to your remote. This is my audio. Test. You will. So I'm literally just trying to get my levels right right now. Right. And that's the whole point of this. And that's the whole point of the audio test. You don't have to play your show. Right. In order to get your audio levels right. Hmm. So what I'm trying to do here is that's the tape in. Sweet. So there's my 33, so I start at 1. So I know 1 through 5 already have missing areas. So we go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we go 12, 13, right? This is uh, issue 13, 4, issue 
14 is good, 15 is good, 16 is good, 17 is good, 18, 19, 19, 11. Issue. That's a horse tail, isn't that no go? Yeah, that's okay. And a lot of these we're gonna we're gonna know that once we okay, yeah. like that's that's bad. Like that's a break in a lot of Right, right. Should that should be, be it should be. Twenty one. Five, and, five seven. and seven, which I think these are known. Yeah, those are my cream oils, so those are gonna pop away. Gotcha. So those are okay. Twenty two, five and six. I think those are cool. Tests. Those right. are good. Twenty-three, twelve. Primora, that's yep. okay. 24, 17, 18. Wait, that was on 22. 25, 23, 23, 12. 24, 17, 18. 25, 2, and 3. Those are the thunder springs that we're not firing. 26, 5, and 7. Camola and American Shrine. No, three more and three more. Oh, my bad. <laughs> 27, 5, and 6. E match test, E match test. Those are not going. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this is looking good so far. So 28, 11. Horse tail, which we know is not going to fire. 29, 12, we got. 30, we're good. 31, we're clean. 32, we're good. Cool. Right. So there's what one or I two things like that? Two. Breaking law and one other thing. Yeah, yeah. Signal's good. The only one we have a little bit of a weak signal on thirty. That's the only one. Okay, so we're testing continuity on the strobes, which we just added. A couple strobes there, and of course the flame pots we switched around. So you said that it would show up red originally. This one's gonna be channel zero. zero. And green means we're good, right? Yep. Yeah. 1 through 11, all green. So let's move on to the next one. Yep. Four more to go. Now the next one's going to be 1 through 10. If you look at the remote, you can see where it's red is where you're supposed to have cues in the script loaded in the remote. Awesome. Let's check it out. You should see when it comes on. Just there picked up the remote. All they green. all turn green. They're all good to go. All good to go. Sweet. Pretty excited to see these gerbs right here. Haven't actually seen those in person, so. <laughs> on to the next one. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Close you. All right. Check out the audience, though. Quite a bit of people up there. Pretty proud. I mean, yeah, I was. That's um, like a small um, town firework shovel pool. That's what I'm saying. I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. I can't imagine there's a lot more people that live in this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So we got two, so you can see we should have one through 12. And it's gonna come on, it's gonna show you it picked up another module. Three. Bam. All good. Good to go. That means we're doing something right. Okay, so you got what? Two comments of mine in the... Four No, 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 what? So oh, like, I see what you're saying. I see oh, you're armed on that one. Uh, Flip uh, it to... Uh, no, no, he wants, he wants it armed. I know, oh, but just oh, to wait. test the continuity. Which I'm sure if he armed it, he already checked it. Now just hit the test, and it should light Whoop. up. Error three. Okay. You hit it, you got it, yeah, you hit it too soon. I've, yeah, I've done that before. Just press it too soon. Happens to me like once a day. Yes. And what are we expecting? There okay. Three is blank, four, so that, works, six, that was good. Yep, cool. Cool. Put it back in arm, right? Boom. All right, let's go enjoy the party.